Okay, so today we're going to be vacuuming out this Hitachi mini split system right here using an older set of analog gauges. First thing you're going to want to do is remove the brass caps from your service ports right here and you're going to need an adapter that looks like this. This is a 5 16 by quarter inch adapter. Your gauges will not screw directly to your mini split. I don't know why they did it this way, but they did. Now most mini splits only have one service port right there on the suction line but this one actually has two service ports so we're going to need two adapters right here and we have a larger line and our smaller line so take the blue hose from your manifold set and hook that to the larger line that's your suction right there and screw that in and find the red line from the back of your manifold set and screw that one to the liquid line so very straightforward right there just make sure they're kinda tight you don't want any vacuum leaks and you don't want to over tighten those so take the yellow line from your manifold set and screw that onto the port on your vacuum pump. Now go back to where your hoses screw into your manifold and make sure those are all tight as well. You don't want any loose connections because you'll have a vacuum leak for sure. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn on the vacuum pump and as soon as we turn that on you'll want to open up your gauges right there. So go ahead and back those all the way out until they stop and most of the time if you've only got one port you only need to do that blue one but in my case, I gotta do both sides, so I'm gonna back both of those out. Okay, so I'm gonna let this thing run for a good half hour, 45 minutes, something like that, and we'll be back on the other side. Okay, so if you notice, the tone has changed on the vacuum pump. We've probably run this for about a good hour, and we're sitting here at minus 30 inches of mercury. That's where you want this to be, okay? It needs to stay there the whole time. So we're gonna close the gauges off, before we shut off the vacuum pump. Close them up and on my case I'm closing both sides. If you've only got one port you're not going to mess with the red one. Alright so once your gauges are closed go ahead and check them again and then close off your vacuum pump. Turn off your vacuum pump rather and we're just going to let this thing sit for probably a good hour. We're at minus 30 inches of mercury right here and we want that to stay there when we come back. Okay so here we are back about an hour later and our gauges haven't moved at all, so that's a very good sign. We don't have any vacuum leaks at all, so I'm happy with that. All right, so use a crescent wrench to go ahead and remove the uh, caps from your service valves and get those out of the way. Now, the best advice I have on which one of these to open first is to consult your installation manual. The manufacturer will usually tell you which one of these they want you to open first, but I could not find that information for this Hitachi, so I defaulted to what I normally do and that's open the liquid line first that's the red one now when you're opening these valves open them up all the way until they stop and then put the caps back on okay so that's about it right there this thing ought to run real smooth when it's done here's a shot right here of some of the refrigerant in we're not quite done with that part yet but um, you get the picture once it's all in there it should be ready to go hope you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching